ready for a brand new beat. The summer's here and the time is bright. For dancing in the street, they're dancing in Chicago. Hey, down in New Orleans, in New York City. All we need is music, sweet music. There'll be music everywhere. There'll be records playing. And body swaying, just dancing in the street. Oh, hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. To the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Listen, a lot of y'all, I believe, misunderstood me. So I want to make sure I make it plain. Um, when I, you know, made the comment about King and that he should be given an opportunity to, to express himself. You know, it's amazing to me how much stuff we want to carry on through slavery. And yet and still we want to talk about how free we are and this is what we do and this. And most of us don't know our ass foot in, from a hole in the ground. Most of the stuff we've been taught, we've been taught through slavery. And our uh, colonial masters beat the shit out of us. And so in turn, we beat the hell out of our kids like it wasn't nothing. And we thought, and we said, because I got my butt kicked. I get y'all. I get where you coming from. And then we go to that scripture. You spare the rod, you spoil a child, and... Look, don't tell me none of that because I'm all churched out. I'm all mossed out. Okay? I done seen beatings on every level you can see. All right? But let me tell y'all something. To carry on the behavior of your colonial um, masters is sad when you don't see it. When you don't see that you was beat and your grandmama was beat, and your great-grandmama was beat, then the first thing you want to say to T.I. and Tiny is they should have beat, beat, beat. Well, they did, according to them. They did beat his ass. It didn't work, did it? Okay, because there's some other things that go along besides just beating the hell out of somebody. And all the beatings I got, and I trust me, I got whippings from my mother. Didn't none of them. They might have stopped me if I thought I might get caught. But if, if it served any purpose, it served to make me angry. Most kids whose ass you beaten, if you think, <laughs> yeah, they might fear you and they might do what you say, but they angry. Okay. And if you can't figure out a way to get past that when you see other groups of people, understanding what colonialism looks like, or colonization, what it looks like, I'm not saying that you got to let a child have his way. You, I'm not saying any of that. But what I am saying is at some point, if you want to grow and develop a healthy human being, at some point, you have to let him, give him some autonomy. Okay? Every night you don't need to beat his ass because he don't want to eat the vegetables. Sometimes he get the right to say, I don't want to eat these vegetables. And you back the, and you back the hell up. Not, and you better eat it. And I said you better. No. Because all you're doing is teaching that kid how to let somebody rule over their body and they can't even say no? Is that the kind of human being, an older person you want to develop? If you want your child to not do what uh, um, uh, um, uh, he did, then you have to set clear and concise boundaries. 
That's number one. Ain't nothing foolproof. Like I said, this job don't come with a manual, and I'm sure all the parents out there would agree with me. But if you think you're going to beat the hell out of your kid to make him mine, and because he's mining right now and he's not going to resent you later, and you think what uh, he did, King did, was upset, you got kids that actually killed their father. I just did a story about a, you know, a man that was shot 31 times by his son. Where y'all think that anger be harbored at? Y'all think it just go away because you somebody father? Ain't never did the sacrifice and the, um, the time put in like the mother. You ain't put that type of time in. You just say, I'm your father. And which is so freaking, it's sad. It's sad. And when you think that your presence is bigger than your parenting, then you got a problem. You have to find a healthy balance. And as that individual grow older, okay, because you got to put the hammer down. I ain't never saying that you might not have to do that. You got to look, and it, it depends on the kid. Some kids never have to have a hammer put down on them because they listen. See, and all that going into also parenting your child because you know them. You might not have to go as hard with her or with the, as you have to do with your other one. Or go as hard. You have two sons. They like Cain and Abel. Uh-huh. Some of the rules they should be given and the consequences should match the behavior. The Listen, the goal of discipline should be to teach, not to bully, make your kids be resentful and all that stuff. That's not... That's not a healthy uh, thought process. And then, because you're going to be a parent for the rest of your life, even when you're in your 30s, and, and that's going to determine how really your kids fuck with you or how they don't. I'm just going to keep it plain. That's stuff like that is how that uh, comes about. When they begin to get older, because you got to bend the sap when it's young. Okay, and like a horse, you hold a harness a little bit tight. And with freedom come responsibility. So now they showing me a little bit more responsibility. I'm going to get them a little bit more freedom. Okay, if they show me a little bit more, I'm going to give them that. Now, once they uh, what the law says, 18, even though we know the brain keeps growing to its 26. Then I got to communicate with them a different way. <clears throat> I can't be saying, I'm your father. I, I'll kill you. I brought you in the world. Dude, y'all ain't learned by now. <coughs> Excuse me. It just reminds me of what Willie Lynch said when he said, we can keep these people perpetually miserable if we just implement these few things that I'm going to give you here on this Jamestown bank. We can make these people so crazy they'll never move past slavery. So, <clears throat> as since King said he grown, because in my opinion, I'm like, again, like Gene, okay, you grown when you raise somebody to get grown. Okay, because you could be 13 and got a baby. Ah, I'm grown, I'm grown. But you got a lot more learning to do, sweetie. A whole lot. So that's why, in my opinion, we have to do better. And we have to uh, know that as our offspring grow, our communication should grow. Now, I'm not saying your kids should disrespect you and do you, but the first thing I want to know is, why in the hell would they do me like that? It ain't going to be just about 
me. It's going to be, what in the hell? What in the hell? I mean, I can't think that at all. I, I, I can't say at all. I know I've, I've been there every day. Or even if I wasn't there. Let, how did that play into that person's um, existence and how they felt about themselves? Like I said, it's a lot of dynamics that go into this. And it don't come with a manual. And I'm not saying that little boy should be able to, uh, should have been able to do whatever he wanted to do. But what I came across was something very interesting. And I just want to read this comment. <coughs> um, Queen uh, HQS said, King and Tiny, T.I. and Tiny, I'm sorry, raised King while they fought, argued, cussed, yelled, sold drugs, toted guns, um, caught charges, had sex parties, getting arrested, wife sitting on the curb in handcuffs, T.I. moved out of the family house after having the youngest baby so T.I. could continue his sexual escapades. I think she moved, I meant Tiny moved out of the family house after having the youngest baby so T.I. could continue his sexual escapades. Tiny at home, alone, emotionally, until T.I. finally got bored and moved back home and so much more. Now, T.I. and Tiny want to build affordable housing and tell King not to do exactly what they raised him doing. To top it off, T.I. found it fitting to argue, joke with King in public at a dang on um at a game um about who can make it in the hood and be the baddest gangster. See what I mean about your uh, mentality sometimes cutting off when you have the children very young. Okay? You could take that or you can leave it alone. What kind of conversation joke is that to have as a father with a son who is already trying to prove he can be big and bad, just like the example his dad showed him when he was growing up? You see, parents want to do wrong while raising their child. Then the parent wants to do right at a time when a child has reached puberty. But it's too late. The parent already done raised the child in the wickedness that they showed and displayed. So it's natural for the child to uh, to turn into a, a young adult and try to be exactly what they were shown as children by their parents. Oh, wait, y'all don't want to hear that. No, you don't. No, you don't. This is why the majority of our children are on the pole, in the streets, on OnlyFans, in the jail and prison system. We don't get it right when we have our children. We get it right after our children reach puberty, which is too damn late. Teach somebody up in here. Also, King has always been sensitive, for it is his personality. I remember doing their reality show, King cried and begged while he was in middle school for his parents to help him with his music career. He wanted a tutor for school so he could do music full time. T.I. said, no, finish school first. Fast forward. Look at T.I. and tiny youngest daughter. She is elementary school age, and they got a tutor for her uh, for school so she could pursue her music full time. Hmm. I said it before, and I'll say it again. The resentment is real. King is not bad. 
I wish folks would stop saying that because it's more, the more it's said, the more likely he would try to prove it. Um, the child who feels, what is it, that the proverb, who feels neglected by the village will burn it down to feel its warmth. And y'all remember that. I want to thank you, uh, Queen HQS. I thought that was a well thought out response. And um, I couldn't agree with you more. Those are the things we don't want to talk about as black folk. How dysfunctional we are. How dysfunctional we've been. Most of us too young to have kids. Because we ain't done. I, I, I mean, I ain't telling you. you, you listen, you have sex is one thing. But to bring kids in the world is another. And if you don't have, you still out there wilding out. And your kids is watching you. Plan to have a problem. And it might present itself at the most inopportune time. So let me see how many of y'all are brave enough to make a comment at Queen HQS and what you think about her comment. Okay? And with that being said, I will see you in the next video. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share the channel. 